All right, so what is going on, everybody? And today I'm here with, I believe this is now episode nine of the ultimate rebuilding series here on NBA 2K17. You guys don't know what the series is. There will be a playlist of it in the description. It's pretty much, I pick a new team every episode and I get three years to rebuild that team and we're doing it all in the same save. So in the last episode, we did do the Memphis Grizzlies. Now it is time to pick our new team. But if you guys want to see episode 10 of this, let's see if this will get over a thousand thumbs up. So smash that like button if you guys are still enjoying this series. And let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think and if I should still continue the same save like always because I still question it guys okay, so I'm about to pick our new team I'm gonna scroll through this and we're gonna pick the new team whatever team I haven't got any duplicates yet but if I get a duplicate I'm obviously gonna respin it so let's do it I'm gonna stop spinning in about five four three two one that is the team we are using the Phoenix Suns we have done them so we gotta do a respin so let's do it again I'm gonna stop it at five four three two one the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, we were taking control of the Nets. This is going to be interesting. Oh my god. I completely forgot. Do you guys remember Michael B. Elliott from the last episode? And this guy has won countless MVP trophies. He was once drafted by the Warriors. He's won five MVPs. Two-time NBA champion. You can just see how much fun this is going to be to use him. We have also Melo, who is, uh, we implemented in the 2028 draft class. He has been solid in his career. Not too amazing, but not bad. He's been a good small forward. We have a power forward named Two Game Mances from Turkey. He was a 10th pick in 2025. He's been a bust. He's been awful. Yeah, he's been nothing special in the NBA, but he's an 80 overall, so he might have trade value. Brad West, David West's son, or maybe Delonte West. He's okay. He's been a solid player in his career. Austin Woods is a 78 overall center. He's been iffy. Uh, Jackson Gibbs is a 28 overall small forward. Not bad. Or uh, 28 eight year old, 76 overall small forward. I think I said 28 overall. Alan Valentine, 32 year old, 76 overall. Nothing special. Alan Freeman, actually not bad. He's been pretty solid in his career. Uh, Abe Strong, center. He is 22 years old. That is a nice pick. Danny Sloan. He's actually had some nice years in Phoenix. Um, in Miami. Uh, Lloyd Clancy is pretty bad. Same as Nikiti Titov and Corey Battle are pretty bad. If I sound sick, I'm getting over a cold, so I apologize about that. So let's get into this offseason. Let's start controlling this team. Let's see who retires. So Dennis Smith, Michael Porter, uh, Russ Reed, I think we had him in the last episode. Uh, we had him in Memphis at one point. Lester Hope, he was really good. He won, I think, a bunch of six men of the years in San Antonio. Look at this. Ready? He won three in a row. That's impressive. That is impressive. Gerald Seymour, he was a really good player, I believe, at one point. Uh, he was solid. Eh, not really. Joseph Lawrence, this guy was good. Uh, Christopher Dupin, we had him for a bunch of teams. We had him on Memphis. I think we had him on uh, Sacramento. We had him. So we had him on a couple teams. All right, so let's see who's going to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Staff retirement. Bunch of coaches are going. I don't even know. And like traders and stuff like that. So Hall of Fame. Let's see. Dennis Smith and Michael Porter are both heading towards it. So um, I might implement a new draft class in this episode. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know what yet. We're gonna see. Dennis Smith and Michael Porter get their jerseys retired by the Mavericks and the Wizards. We had Porter on the Wizards. League meetings. Gotta make sure none of this goes. All right. So draft lottery. I don't think we're gonna have any picks. This team, I think, just went to the NBA Finals. Yeah. So we're gonna probably have. We have the projected. What? Where? Where's our pick? No, we have the 26 picks. So we didn't even go to the finals. So let's see what moves I'm going to make to start off the offseason. All right, guys. So I'm going to make a trade with their... Or actually, I'm not going to do this trade with the Grizzlies. I could have got Matt Barnes Jr., who we had in the last episode. But Ruben Sanders, he was, he's was he been amazing. But he's too old for me. So I'm going to take this trade from the Lakers. We're going to be clearing up about 27 mil in cap. And we're getting two first round picks from the Lakers. Uh, we are moving that Mads' guy. t -Tav here. Um, you can actually see his son is in this class. You can say Tim Duncan's son and Sean Kemp's son are in here. So do I want to get Oliver Kemp would be nice, but we would have to get up to the number one pick. I'm willing to trade Melo. I am willing to trade him for a pick. I don't know what yet. I could get Scooter Jordan, Gerald Gale, who's a nice shooting guard. He's 22 years old and a first round pick. Dimitri Elliott, Elliott's brother, maybe. Uh, I don't know who to get. I don't know who to get. Nobody's like... Name Mike Bogley. Okay, Jay Perkinson's really good. Wow, he's a lot better than Melo. A year older, making the same money. Do I do this trade? I'm going to do that trade if I can't find a trade for a nice pick. Pistons, uh, I doubt they would trade that pick to me for Melo. But we can try to work something out. Pistons, I will give you Melo. Melo only has two stars. Ah, uh, this ain't going to work. Even if I give up both those Lakers picks. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get the number one pick in the draft. 
Never mind. I just got the number one pick in the draft. I want to... Okay, I am shocked right now. So, I'm going to draft Tim Duncan's son, um, Oliver Duncan. So, I'm going to draft him, and I'll see you guys in rookie signings. I can't believe I just gave up all that for the number one pick. All right, guys. So, I'm going to be interested to see if Oliver Duncan was the highest overall. Wow. This guy, Pen Askew, went number two. Where did Kemp go? Kemp was a 75. Where was Titov? He was a 72, and he went 12th. Okay, so Oliver Duncan was by far the best player in this draft. He's an 80 overall already, and he's making a rookie salary, which is going to be beautiful, and my game froze. Great. All right, so after fixing all that, we did draft the guy in the second round named Willis Bowl, but Oliver Duncan, the main guy, starting point guard for next year. He's making a rookie salary. That's going to be we're going to have money for free agency. Abe Strong definitely want to bring back on that team option. Okay, so damn, Kirk Butler, who we drafted in the last episode in Memphis. Okay, he accepts his team option. Who's this? Uh, Joel Sheridan. He is a point guard. Uh, I really can't go after him, but maybe I will in trade. Maybe new wall. We've had him in a couple teams. We had him in Memphis. Or just one, I think. Okay, so there's some decent free agents we're going to go after or look at. Corey Battle. Uh, don't really care. My free agents, Gibbs, Valentine. I don't have bird rights on any of them, so I'm kind of screwed there. How many players do we have under contract? And how much money do I have is also another big question. Uh... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players under contract with 54 mil. That's enough for a max. That's enough for a max deal. Jordan Hardy, this guy has been so good. For a two-year deal, I would bring him in. We need a shooting guard. It'd be Duncan, him, and Elliott. That would be filthy. Um, I'm going to give you no cause because we're your only offer. Please come here. I don't want Wong. Early's a restricted free agent, but he's probably going to go back. Westbrook, uh, Stevie Westbrook. We had him in the six-year save. Russell Westbrook's son. He's been very good, but we don't need a point guard. Hassan Whiteside Jr. we can take a look at. Actually, we, actually no, we can't sign him and uh, him and Hardy. That's unfortunate. Uh, Okidi, he's asking for a decent amount. But let's do a pass a day. They're both bowling. Both bowling. Come on, give me Hardy. Okay, we get Hardy. We unfortunately cannot get Whiteside Jr., but I might make a attempt to get him, and that would involve me trading Austin Woods to clear up cap. What could I get for Austin Woods? Two first out picks. I don't want to give up any more first out picks. I will do this to the Celtics. Okay, we just got a first rounder. If I could get Hassan Whiteside Jr. here, this would be so clutch. Hassan Whiteside Jr. Take all my money. Our bench is going to be awful, but our starting rotation is going to be so filthy. I will give you 25 mil for three years any player option. Just accept that, please. Come on. I saw Whiteside Jr. Welcome to the team. I'm going to sign a couple veterans and stuff like that. I'll see you guys at the start of the first season. Oh my god, guys. I just signed this guy named Cooley Anthony Atkins. From where did he play last year? He's an 84 overall power forward. He's going to be amazing for us. Like, he's going to fit in just well because I think the power forward is the one position we need in the starting lineup. Yeah. So this team's going to be amazing, guys. I'll see you guys at the start of next season again. All right, guys. I just downloaded a draft quest. I have no idea what it looks like, but let's see who's in it. Let's see. Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, Kevin Love, Brooke Lopez are the ones in it. And that is technically Gore Drogic, but the guy can't spell. Okay, so those are the people that were in this. I just downloaded it off the 2K share. So there's going to be a chance for people to draft Russell Westbrook or Derrick Rose. They're probably amazing. Yeah, they're B-plus overalls already. Kevin Love, he might be somebody I want to trade up. Why is he 6'1"? If I draft him, I'm going to change his height because that is obviously wrong. Brooke Lopez is 6'8", okay, but, and Gore Drogic 6'10". But, um, yeah, so I just downloaded those draft classes, but... I'm going to need to make a trade because we're no doubt making the semifinals in the Eastern Conference. Like, no doubt. I'm marking it down now. Oliver Duncan, the rookie. Jordan Hardy, a shooting guard who's been just amazing in his NBA career. Spent 14 years in Houston. Has just been an all-star. How many times? Probably a lot. Only four? That's okay. I thought he should be in a little bit more. We got Michael B. Elliott, the best player in the NBA right now in my eyes in this series. Uh, Clanthony Atkins, who I just signed, I showed you guys that. And Hassan Whiteside Jr. We have Ray Welch, Shauna Oliver, Abe Strong coming off the bench, and Terrence Bailey. So the bench is bad, but the starting lineup is going to pick up for it. That'll be for now. I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. All right, guys. And yes, yes. Michael B. Elliott wins MVP. 24.7 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. And we also get Rookie of the Year. When has that ever happened? MVP and Rookie of the Year. Uh, not the same player, but two different players. Is Alvin Duncan 19 and 7? Greg Pittman, 6 men of the year. Still in Philly. We had him back in two episodes ago. James Michael Folks. This guy has one defensive player of the year. So many straight years. Let's see how many it is. Uh, four straight years. And yeah, 
24 years old. He could win it for another 10 more. Stanley Ford, most improved, whatever. We'll get Schmidt Coach of the Year for us. That's nice. That's nice. So, Michael B. Elliott, all be first team. Allen Iverson, he's bought out much better than... Um, I will actually, we have to see what Kobe's doing. I don't even remember what team he's on. Carlos Espraza, he's been actually really good in this series. Been kind of mode overall. Thought he'd be a lot higher. George Holland, power forward. 25 overall. 25 overall. 25 years old from uh, L.A., Victor Powell, actually he went to Mississippi State, Victor Powell, he's in Miami, he's really good, I'll be second team, Keith Black, this guy has been taking over since I guess Justin Hardy left, Stevie Westbrook, there he is, uh, he signed with the Knicks in the offseason, Jack Early, we had him last episode of the Goose season, wow, he's showing out, okay, we see you Jack Early, he on steel, amazing for LA, he's 26 years old, and Jerry Houston, amazing for Boston, uh, Todd Everson, Michael B. Shelton, there's Wayne Gabriel Jr., and there's Falcus. So, any other nuts? There's Elliot on all defensive first team. And then we're obviously going to have Duncan on all rookie first team. So, we go 62 and 20. We get the best record in the NBA. Yes, there's our Grizzlies we had in the last episode. There are the two seed. Just kidding. They're the one seed. Second best record in the NBA is what I meant. So, we were seven games better than the Raptors. Uh, Jordan Hardy, he averaged 18 for us. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Adkins averages 10 and 5. Whiteside gets 5 and 8. Ugh. Thought he would get a lot more rebounds than that, at least. So, actually, I'm going to fix the minutes here. So, we're going to go nine-man rotation in the playoffs. Ten minutes there. Fifteen is strong. We'll go 17 to Oliver. Welch, you're the sixth man. You can get 26 minutes. we got to give 33 to Whiteside. Junior, 33 to Adkins. 38 to Elliott. Uh, 33 to Duncan and 33 to Hardy. So, let's get into this. We're taking on the Knicks. They have Russell Westbrook's son, as we know of. Um, and they have Hal Thorpe. Okay, they have an interesting team. Rudolph Hoffman, not bad. Devin Temple, pretty good. So, Battle of New York. I could see it upset. Oh, they want No, no, please, no. Oh, my God. They blow a 3-1 lead. They blow a 3-1 lead. Okay, so now we're taking on the Sixers. We've had them before. Yep, and they have Kobe Bryant. Okay, okay. There's Patrick Lowry. Archie Carson, that's a new player. Dwayne Alexander, they still have him. Johnny McKenzie. All right, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yes, we win in six. Let's go. Can we win a championship in year number one? And you guys know my rule is if I do win a championship in year number one, it's only a two-year save, and we don't go to three years. So let's see what current round against the Celtics. Who do they have? They still have, uh, yep, they have Houston, who's amazing. Bolton, this guy, he's something else. He's one rookie. No. Oh, he didn't win rookie of the year, but he's good. Who's their really good rookie? Harmon? Peacock? Peacock has been good. No. Bennett? I thought they had a really good rookie, but Bennett's really good. No, I don't even know. They have Garrett Gale. Okay. They also have Al Woods. Or Alan Woods, who we just had. So, let's see what the current round. Can we go to the finals? We win in seven. And we're taking on the Grizzlies, who we faced in the last episode. Okay. I like it. I like it. Let's see what game one. It's in Brooklyn. We can't lose at home. Oh, my God. We lose by eight. Oliver Duncan. Where are we? You got to step up more. Seven for 21. Really bad. There's Gibbs, uh, who we had. Very good player. Always 6-2. Uh, I think he's a shooting guard or whatever that said. Maybe it said he was a point guard. So let's see what game two. Come on, we need to win this. This is must win. And we're down 2-0. Uh, Gibbs is a point guard. Damn, if we go down 3-0, it's over. Come on, we built a super house back there in Memphis. Come on, come on. We need to win this one. Let's go. It's 2-1. Elliot, I would need those performances every night. We need that from you. If we tie this up 2-2, this is going to be nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We lost both games at home, and then we win both games on the road. That's what I'm talking about, Elliot. We need performances like that from you. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No. We need to win. Let's go. Let's go. We win by four, and we're up three to two. Elliot, that is what I'm talking about. I really want to hop in and use them. We're here in Memphis. Okay, we're down by five. Uh, we're down by 11 in the fourth. We're down by seven. Down by, yeah. It's going to a game seven, folks. It's going to a game seven back here in Brooklyn. Okay, great first quarter. Great second quarter. Oh, we're gonna we're blowing them out. They have 48 points. Alright. Let's hop in. I have two minutes left. I'm gonna hop in. I'll see you guys in the game. Alright, guys, here in the game. Please tell me why is it Elliot? If Elliot fouled out, I'm gonna get so upset. Hold on. Is Elliot No, get Elliot in here. Get Elliot in here. What the heck? Um Atkins has 52 energy. Oh. Uh Okay, we can put Strong in there, power forward. Uh, Hardy, you're at 50 energy. Well, you're going to have to suck it up in the last two minutes. I want to use you. Um, I'm going to call a timeout, actually. And I can't. Hold on. Okay, I get a steal. Can I just foul? Oh, we get a whistle. 
What? Okay, what is going on? Just foul. Just foul. Oh my god, we're too good. We're just getting so many blocks. Just foul them. I'm like spamming X right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? I tried fouling so much. Right, I'm going to call a timeout. I want to get Elliot in the game. All right, guys. Michael B. Elliot, possibly the greatest player in this series so far. I want to see how good he is. That's an off balance three. Oh my god. Okay. I just want to take a first shot. Uh, does this? No, this team doesn't have Dwayne Wade, does it? No, they don't. Um, okay, Murad, Oliver Duncan, just stay with them. Oliver Duncan is 16 and 8. Come on, I want to get the ball. Justin Hardy, uh, Jordan Hardy, my man. Uh, he is 25. Come on, let's give it to Elliot. Kick it, a, kick it to Whiteside. Or kick it to Hardy. Let's see your post game, Elliot. Elliot? Okay, he misses. He's got almost a triple double in this game. There is Matt Barnes Jr. We got him a chip last episode. I never fortunately got to play with him. Um, I kind of wish I did. But let's see. He's driving. Pull up. No way. Elliot. Oh, he's two rebounds away from a triple double. He's not going to get it. Uh, come on. Somebody, come, somebody cut. Hardy. Strong. Uh, there's Duncan. Come on. All right. Let's give it to Elliot. Give me a pick, white side. Kick it to white side. Throw it down. Or lay it in and miss the layup. Okay. I have not scored yet. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Even though we're going to win a chip, but like. Uh, okay. Come on. Oh, we should have got a steal there. Just shoot the ball. Come on. I want to use Elliot. I want to use Elliot. Butler. Oh, my God. He was a stud. Kirk Butler in the last episode. Moran for three. That's no good. Kick it to Elliot. Come on, Elliot. Use your speed. Use your speed. There we go. Throw it down. Okay. Oh, my God. Michael B. Elliot. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Holy crap. That was filthy. Come on. Oh, they're not going to shoot it, I think. So that's going to be it. Um, come on. Shoot the ball, Matt Bar Jr. Shoot the ball. There you go. Uh, he makes that. I want to give it to Elliot. Try to hit a buzzer beater. Kind of show some disrespect. Actually, I got to respect the Grizzlies. We just had him, but I'm going to try to hit a buzzer beater. Just pull up three. Bad release. It's still good. It's Michael B. Elliot. So that's going to be for me now, guys. I will see you guys back in the... Uh, the simulation where we see who won finals MVP. All right, guys. So let's see who won finals MVP. Obviously, Michael B. Elliott. 25, 7, and 7 was the stat line. So here, I want to build a super team. Uh, oh, there goes Jeff Stribling. No, no. This was the first ever 99 in the series. He was drafted back in 2020. First overall pick by the Lakers. And he was just amazing. I always wanted to get him. He... Was so loyal, stayed with the Lakers' whole career. He was so good. Roy Perkins was actually a very good player, drafted in the same draft class by the Cat. Uh, no, by the Celtics. Ended his career on the Cavs. Um, Matt Barnes Jr. retires. Greg Gager, all the studs are retiring. Greg Gager was so good, drafted in 2021. You guys can see his stat line. He was so freaking good. Freddie Dixon, uh, Joshua Swift. Was this guy good? I'm trying to remember these names. Sean Oliver, no. Bailey, ah, uh, this is one of our guys. Freddie McKinney, we had him on the sun save. He was really good as well. 37, and he's still an 81 overall, and he retired. Okay. Oh, my God, we had a lot of retirees. Okay. Uh, no, there goes Cameron Atkins. Wait, no, that's not the guy we had. Never mind. Uh, -huh. Stamp retirement, a bunch. Okay. Hall of Fame, let's check who's going to the Hall of Fame. Jeff Shubley, uh, Greg Gager, and Matt Barnes are all heading to the Hall of Fame. We saw these guys grow up. And now they're heading to the Hall of Fame. It's crazy to see. Jersey retirement. Uh, Greg Gager by the Clippers. Stribling by the Lakers. Roy Perkins by the Magic. And then Barnes Shooter by the Grizzlies. Uh, week meetings. Okay, reject all that. So draft here in the NBA draft. I want to make a trade. I want to draft Kevin Love. Guys, okay, so I think it's going to go Rose and Westbrook for number one and number two. And I obviously, or I have um, Oliver Duncan. So I don't need a point guard. So I'm going to try to trade for the third pick to the Warriors. Clay Anthony Adkins because I wouldn't need a starting power. I would need or not need him because I'll put Kevin Love there. And two first out picks. If we get the third pick, I'm going to try to draft Kevin Love. I'll see you guys at Mercury Sidings and hopefully I end up with Kevin Love and not with Rose or, Rest or, Rose or Westbrook. Uh, was finished editing Kevin Love. I made him 6'10 what his actual height is in real life. He's a 79 overall. It says he's from Croatia but obviously obviously he's from UCLA. Uh, so let's confirm all that. Uh, okay, so team player options. Abe Strong got to bring back. T-Top, I can even bring back. We're going to have no money free agency, so none of this really matters. Uh, Rod Barrett, we got to sign. Uh, my free agent, Marcus Garnett. He might actually have to be on the bench next year. I'm like, play, actually, because our bench is going to be weak. Todd Emerson is the best free agent. Carter Harmon, Jim Bolton. 
Uh, Devin Jennings, we had him, I think, in the Washington save. I think we had him for like a day in the Bedford save last video. That's why he sounds familiar. So I'm going to sign a couple of these guys on minimum contracts, and I'll see you guys at the start of the second and final season. All right, guys, so I'm going to take a look here at the start of rotation for the second and final season. You got Oliver Duncan, who's in 81. Uh, you got Jordan Hardy, who's in 85. Elliot, who's in 97. Kevin Love, 79. And then Hassan Whiteside. Then you have Abe Strong, Art Keith. Harris Davis, Steve Woolrich, who I signed. This guy was amazing at one point in his career. I think we had him in the Utah save or the Sacramento, one of the two. And then Marcus Garnett. Yeah, the bench is really bad, I know, but I still think we can win a championship. I'm excited to see what Kevin Love can do, and that's going to be for me, and I'll see you guys at the end of the second and final season. All right, guys, so Kobe Bryant on the Sixers gets MVP here in the... Uh, and what year is this? I don't even know. 2039-2040 season. He averaged 27 points. Derrick Rose, rookie of the year. They're in Milwaukee. That team is nice. They have him and Benjamin Cole, but you guys know that stud center. Uh, Greg Pittman, sixth man of the year for the second year in a row. Michael Fowles, oh god, defensive player of the year for the fifth year in a row. Vin Buckner, most improved, okay. Fred Hoiberg for the sixth year's coach of the year. So Kobe, Iverson, Carlos Esperanza, Matt Christie. Haven't really seen this guy, but he's really good for the Bulls. Victor Powell once again for, uh, what was this? All the first team, all the second team. You have Michael B. Elliott. Aw, oh, he's degressed. He's degressing or regressing. Damn, okay. Stevie Westbrook, uh, Holland, Steele, and Houston. Then you have Tower Gordon back. He was amazing for us at Phoenix. I think he signed with Orlando back in 2033. Gibbs, Daly, Gabriel Jr., and Falcus. Any other Nets? There's Elliott on all the defense second team. Rose averaged 22, 7, and 7. Almost 8 and 8. Uh, Westbrook averaged 18 and 8. He's at 84. Rose is at 86. Gore Drogic, 13 and 7. Love, 13 and 4 for us. Uh, what did Lopez average? 15. Not bad. So we get the three seed in the Easter Conference this year. Okay. The Grizzlies have fallen to the seventh. Pelicans are the best seed over there. They have Esparza, uh, Brooks Woodson, Richard Wallace. Okay. Sixers. And then it's the Hornets. What? Falcus really carried this team. Chris Bosch. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was in that new draft class. I forgot. Sixers are good, though. Sixers are going to be hard to beat. Uh, let's check out the stats. You got Elliott, Duncan, 14 and 5. Everybody went down, I feel like, this year. Oh, I don't even know. Okay. So we're going to go 10 uh, man, ro 9 man rotation. Uh, let me fix up these minutes. That's good. That's good as well. Whiteside, Junior, you could get 33. Love, you could get 33. Elliott, you could get 38. 33 for Hardy. 33 for Duncan. Actually, I'll even give 35 to Duncan because I think he's our second best player. He's better than Hardy. Round one against the Hawks. Can we beat them? Uh, we're down 3 1. Wow. We, wow. We took a step back this year. That's surprising. Okay. But you guys know the rule if I win a championship in the first year, I ended there. So that is going to be for me. This six years go on to beat the Pelicans in seven. Kobe Bryant, your finals MVP. No surprise there. So that's going to be for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. Actually, I'm going to start doing this. The comment, the most liked comment with the draft quest is the draft quest I will do in the next episode. So if you guys want like a 2000, like... 10 draft quests in there or like 2004 or something like that the comment with the most likes on it of that draft quest i will do so yeah that's gonna be for me let's see if this one get over a thousand likes hope you guys enjoyed and yes yeah, so that's good for me and i'll see you guys next video peace